Okay guys, sorry it's kind of dark. I'm actually in the car and I'm doing something very, very, very brave. I'm going to Walmart the Saturday before Christmas and you, you get to come with me. Aren't you excited? Okay, let's go. I realize that it's dark and I'm sorry about that. Um, I'm on my way to Walmart and I was expecting it to be really cold, but it's actually not that cold out. It's 31, but it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel that cold. We are getting a little bit of sleep. I don't know if you can see that on my windshield. But um, I, I'm so annoyed right now. I have put mascara on and my um, eyelashes on this eye are like clicking together. You know, like they're getting stuck and so when you blink, it like pulls your eye, your eyelash. How do you get that off of there so that that doesn't happen? I keep pulling at it, but it's still there. It's like having a twitch in your eye. So anyways, um, this is actually the first time that I haven't had the girls that I'm able to go out and get them some some Christmas gifts. We want to get them a play kitchen. They have a couple of little ones that we got for free that they play with outside. But we wanted to get them a really nice big one um, for inside in their playroom. And we've kind of been pricing them. We've um, tried to get a couple that we saw on Craigslist without any luck. Um, th they seem to just go so quickly. So we actually found the one that, that I really like at Walmart, but we wouldn't be able to get it until the 26th, which is the day after Christmas. So we are going to go ahead and wait until after Christmas to take them shopping to get their kitchen. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go to Walmart tonight and get them um, some stuff to play with their kitchen and just some other little stuff that they have been saying that they wanted. So we don't spend a lot on them on Christmas because we want them to understand the meaning of Christmas and we don't want them to get caught up in the whole commercialization of it. So we really focus on, on just keeping it very, very, very simple, minimal. We don't make a big deal out of Santa Claus um, because, you know, we're kind of, we're kind of torn between, you know, childhood myths and lying to them. You know, Scott was really devastated when he found out um, at five years old that there wasn't a Santa Claus. My experience wasn't as traumatic. I don't actually even remember when, when I was told that there wasn't no Santa Claus. It seems like it was more of a gradual realization for me. So, you know, we, we tell that we read them the story of Saint Nick and, you know, said that he was that he was a real person and he really did buy gifts for children. And um, but we really try to focus it on Jesus because I mean, after all, that is what Christmas is about. And unfortunately, it's been commercialized. Why has it been commercialized? Because it's big bucks. Retailers make big bucks. So that's why it is the way that it is. And um, we just want them to grow up, grow up knowing the meaning behind Christmas. And though we celebrate Jesus every day in our house, we talk about Jesus every day in our house, God is always mentioned, and we use the Bible every day 
as um, a learning tool for the girls. And they understand. But, you know, we want them to be able to just focus this one day on the birth of our Savior, just like we do with Easter, you know, the resurrection. And, um, yeah, so that's, that's really what Christmas is to us. And unfortunately, it's just not that way for the rest of the world, which makes me very sad. But for us, this is a day for Jesus. This is a day that we can just focus solely on how blessed, how incredibly blessed the world was on the Immaculate Conception of our Lord and Savior who came and washed our sin away with his blood. And all we have to do, all we have to do is accept him as our Lord and Savior. And that is our, and ask, just simply ask, it's free, ask for forgiveness for our sins. And we all sin, we're human. Nobody is exempt. If you say that you've never sinned, you just sinned because you're lying. We all sin. And he loves us so much that he died for us. He died so that our sins would be forgiven, so that we could live beyond the grave. And it's free. It doesn't cost us a penny. And it's so easy to do. And once you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and you give everything, every part of your life to him, he guides you through it. He's always there. And though things may happen in your life that you wish wouldn't, it all has its reasons. But in the end, you won't die. You'll live eternity in a glorious, glorious, unimaginable place, which is way better than the alternative. So, yay, let's go to Walmart where commercialization is alive and well. So I actually, I didn't realize that there was a Big Lots right across the street from our Walmart. So I'm actually going to go in there and see if I can find anything for them. So we are now at Big Lots. And actually, the parking lot doesn't look too bad. So let's go in. Okay, so I'm done in there. And what did I come out to? It's snowy! So anyways, I've got, I got a few things. I'll show you guys when I get home, but not too bad. I spent, it came to 141, but I have a rewards card, so that took $9 off. So not too bad. I think, I think that I'm done. Um, I kind of just, I want to find them some of those building blocks, those huge building blocks, because they like to stack the VHS cassette tapes. So instead of them doing that, I think I'll try to find them some of those big building blocks. So I'm going to go over to Walmart and see what I can find there. Okay, I think I'm done Christmas shopping. I have everything laid out for the girls and I want to show you guys what it looks like. So this side is Brooklyn's. And then in the middle, those three gifts, there's a tent, um, a puzzle set, and a Paula Deen first cookbook. That's for both of them. And then this side is Haley's. So they've got exactly 
um, the same, basically the same things. Some things may be different colors, different style, but it's all the same. So that's what Christmas looks like. And then we're going to get them. Scott's going to try to get a playhouse that we found, or I'm sorry, a kitchen that we found on Craigslist today, but it's all the way out in Parker, and that's quite far from our house. He's going to call the lady in the morning when he gets off work and possibly go get that. And um, if not, then we'll just take them and get, get their um, kitchen after Christmas. Who knows? There might be a good sale. But this is everything close up. So th this came from Walmart. It was six ninety seven. These also came from Walmart. They're little t-shirt dresses, and they were on s their clearance for five dollars. So they each got um, two of those. And then these are just um, some leggings. They each got three pairs of those, and they're the same colors. And they can wear them with these. And then these are the pajamas we got them. We'll give them this to open up on Christmas Eve. Um, we'll give them their pajamas and their slippers so that they can sleep in these on Christmas Eve and wake up in them on Christmas morning. We got them each um, a pair of 10 pairs of panties. Brooke has Um, Tangled, Rapunzel, and Haley has little ponies. Haley's pajamas are bunnies, and then her slippers are little bunnies, too. Um, I got him each a new blanket. Brooklyn's is pink, and Haley's is purple. They've both wanted cameras, so I got them each a little play camera. Just this little sparkle girl, a little... Um, bead to make bracelets and necklace. Lip gloss. That's a lip gloss. And then this is a little fingernail slash beauty kit. It has a nail polish, lip gloss. It has a little bag to put it on in. Um, Brooklyn's is princesses, Disney princesses, and Haley's is the little mermaid. I got them these little these little brush and hair accessory kits and a little zippered backpack. Um, Brooklyn's is pink and Haley's is purple. I got them this little kit as well. Minnie Mouse. Um, a Barbie candy cane. I, got, I get these for him because every year my mom would get us these, these little lifesaver um, sweet story books. And so I got them each one of those. I got them each a Disney Royal Bath doll. So Brooks is pink, Haley's is purple. And I got them this fairy tale, this sticker story book. So it's got stories in it, but it's also got these little characters that you can punch out, and they all have little stands on them. So I got them that, and then I got them these little these little trays that they can either um, use to do their schoolwork, artwork, or even um, eat on them. So hey, Brooklyn's is um, Sophia the First. And Haley's is Doc McStuffin. So that's it. Oh, I got them some candy, some candy for their stockings, and some of this, the little stuff will go in their stockings. But that is what I got them. This cookbook is so cute. Here's the puzzles that they'll both share. There's four puzzles in here. And then I got them that little um, Disney princess tent that they can play in or sleep in. They can share these things. But this Paula Deen cookbook is so cute, and it was only $3 at um, Big Lots. 
But yeah, it's got some really easy little recipes for for kids. Pancakes, what you'll need. A bullseye, which is um, an egg on toast. But see, like how cute it is. It tells you what what they'll need, and it has pictures. And then it tells you what to do. Green eggs and ham. So isn't that the cutest thing? They're really getting into cooking. They always want to help me cook. So I thought that this would be cute. And the recipes are really cute names, like nuts and bolts. Cheese on a log, apples with homemade peanut butter, tuna melts, pigs in the blanket. So I think that they'll really enjoy that. So that's it. I'm exhausted and now I have to wrap. They'll be home tomorrow at noon, so I've got to get it all wrapped and hid before they before they come home. <laughs>